Now I have everything painted here. I've already assembled this. Uh, what's left to do pretty much is to assemble this switch. I'm not using it, but put it here. And, uh, and then assemble that back in the bike and put some oil. And, uh, okay. Now let's assemble this in the bike. I'll just put it back in the bike. This here. Now that we have it pretty much installed, we'll connect the hose for the, the oil. Simply put it here and tighten that down. I'm still uh, working around the, the front brake of my dirt bike and uh, after fixing the, the front master cylinder, this one here on the bike, that one, after fixing that one I still don't have, I still don't have enough pressure or when I brake and so I decided to investigate this one and what I realized was that these two cylinders which go here one on each side they were pretty much seized and then you have the brake pads to go on top of that uh, one on each side I've already pulled the thing out of the bike um, and I've already pulled the cylinders out in order to pull these out without scratching the outside which is the important part I've used one of these which instead of closing opens I put it on the inside pressed it and pulled it out like this because if you grab with something else on the outside you'll scratch it and that's not what you want uh, now I'll try to clean this and uh, these ones they have like this kind of uh, I'm not sure if you can see this kind of a a dirt that uh, got here over time and what I'm trying to do in order to clean them and keep them shiny before installing them again is I've done this this is simply a piece of tissue and uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to polish them like this I'm trying to polish them the best I can to keep them completely smooth so that they work properly inside so right now I'll do this after I got them both polished I'll show you how to install them there okay Watch stop. okay I've just finished polishing these two uh, the best I, I could or 
the best I can. And uh, they still have these marks, you can see, visually you can see, but if you touch it, they're completely smooth, you don't feel a thing. These marks don't go away, so whatever. Now I have these here, polished. Let me put them aside for a while. And now for this one. Uh, I'll try to clean that. I've already sprayed some here inside, some of this uh, oil, which is, has just finished right now. Damn, empty can. And uh, another thing I'll do is to simply pick up like this piece of tissue, roll it around here, see, and I'll try and clean the most with this. Try and clean the most with this and then I'll spray it with the air compressor. I don't want to damage the seals. I should replace these seals for new ones, but I don't have them and I don't have a place where to get them around here, so I'll have to stay with these ones for now. Let me just spray some compressed air inside the thing. Okay, now being sure that no dirt is inside whatsoever. Some oil. Simply put it on these rubber seals so that then it makes it easier to slide the cylinders in. Okay, I got some oil there. So I'll pick up the cylinders, making sure they're quite clean as well. Put the cylinder in place like this and just press it all the way down. Now for the next one. Put it in place. See? and just press it down all the way to the bottom see now put it aside this is the, the nipple to bleed it so I'll just just back in place here yeah. okay and now all I have to do is to install the, the brake pads put these back in place as well See, these are the old brake pads, and then you have these two bolts that go from one side to another, like this. Keep the brake pads in place. Everything is pretty much in place. Next step, assemble it uh, back on the bike. So to put this back on the bike, 
the process of assembling it is basically the reverse of disassembling so I haven't recorded the disassemble process but you'll see this one and you know that it is basically the reverse all I'll do is uh, I'll fit this support in these two holes with these two pins this one goes here push it all the way in and then just take it to the bike uh, yeah, take it to the bike place the brake pads one on each side of the brake disc and then align the holes here so these are the brake pads open they go on the disc and then you pull the support up till you align with these two holes and then you simply slide these screws in they are in place tighten them a little bit using the correct wrench and uh, not too much it's not necessary and after that just connect your fluid uh, hose back in place put it in place and Tightening this screw back in place. Well, once it is in place, just tighten. Tighten a bit more, and uh, right now we're ready to bleed it, okay? This is the brake fluid I'll use uh, not for okay right now I'm gonna put the oil in fill it to about the maximum point I can Okay, what I have to do is, I must open down here this nipple to bleed it, to remove all the air from inside the tubing, and uh, I have, then I have to pump it a few times up there, so but I'll need a, a hose to avoid spilling oil in the ground well, everything I do is easy especially when I'm recording ok, I have the hose connected I have here this cup this side will go here inside to get it and basically what I'll do now is I'll open this and push and then you must push it up here push the brake and then before, before you let go the brake you would close it so open Push the brake, close, open again. All the oil goes down. So open it again. Push it, close. You open it, open it, press the brake, close it, 
and let go the brake. And you must keep doing this until all the air is out and only oil comes out of the hose here. Once that happens, you simply refill the tank and it's done. Okay, the job is finished and here is the brake working. It's a bit stiff but it works. You see it? If you look at the tire, working